Hello everyone, it's Miss Quids again. Today's video is about an impending update to NoTrack. So lately, Quids has been spending a lot of time working on NoTrack, porting it to Python 3. As part of this port, he has implemented an update to the algorithm for sorting and deduplicating the block list. So that relates to this thing here. The idea for this update came from an issue that was opened on GitLab a couple of years ago, actually, by this user, mattc 96 And Quids has used this idea and adapted it in order to fit what he'd like to do in this newest update. In the Python code, this update relates to a couple of different functions. The first one is the add domain function. This first function relates to the adding of the domains to the block list in preparation for the final sorting and processing. The second function relates to the deduplication of the lists um, that does the final sort and then saves the list. So currently the algorithm that is used can prep the block list and add data to the SQL tables. It's compatible with easy list, Unix lists, defanged and plain lists. And it's going to be ready for the 0.9.7 release. There will be a delay due to a missing Python dependency, Python MySQL Connector, which is in the repos but needs manually installing, so we will have to work around this for older releases. And here is a little video showing the performance difference between the old Bash version of NoTrack and the newer Python 3 version of NoTrack. And as you can see, there is quite a performance difference uh, between the old and the new implementations. So just by kind of eyeballing the wall time, really, um, we can see that the old version, given a head start, takes about a minute and a half. The new version takes about five seconds. So that's going to be an approximate 18 times speed up. Uh, so that is quite an improvement in performance. That was just a sh quick little video about an upcoming update to NoTrack. And thank you for watching and I'll see you all later.